Okay, so say we have this equation. 9 is equal to 3 to the x plus 1. Goal number one is to see if we can write both sides of the equation so that they have the same base. Okay, we want both sides of these, this equation to have the same base. So, um, since the right side has a base of 3, it would be great if we could express 9 as something base 3. Thank you, Tell you in group one now. And you should make a page. Okay, 9 we can express as 3 squared. So we want to rewrite it as 3 squared. Now, since they have the same base, the only way this equation is going to be equal is if their exponents are equal. So it's almost kind of like the bases disappear. And then we just solve for x. 2 minus 1 is 1. So that means x is 1. It's an equation. We can always check that by plugging it in. Go back to the original problem. 1 plus 1 is 2. Guess what? 3 squared is 9. Okay, let's do another one. 1 half to the x is equal to 8. Now, what I see is I see 2 and I see 8. And I know that 2 cubed is equal to 8. So, I'm going to use my properties of exponents on both sides here. Okay, I need to rewrite 1 half. 1 half can be rewritten as 2 to the negative 1. And 8 can be rewritten as 2 cubed. Okay, 1 half is 2 to the negative 1. That's just a property of negative exponents. So, when we raise a power to another power, we multiply. So, that's 2 to the negative x. Negative 1 times x is negative x on the left side. And 2 cubed on the right side. So, that says negative x is equal to 3. So, positive x is equal to negative 3. And again, you can check it. I would check this one in my calculator. One half, make sure that's in parentheses, to the negative third, and that equals eight. Okay, so you get C, two is equal to 16 to the two X minus one. Well, 16 is a power of 2. 16 is a power of 2. 16 could be written as 2 to the 4th. Power to a power would multiply, but in this case we have to distribute. So that's 8x minus 4. So the 2 on the left side doesn't have an exponent, so it's understood to be 1. So we've got 1 is equal to 8x minus 4. So we add 4 to both sides. We get 5 is equal to 8x. Divide by 8. 5 over 8 is equal to x. And we can check it. Okay, just make sure you put it in parentheses. 16 raised to the 2 times 5 over 8 minus 1. Get rid of 2. Okay, last example here. <clears throat> we have to do a little bit of work before uh, we write them so that they have the same base. Okay, we've got to get the exponential by itself. So that plus 5 there on the end is not in the exponent, so we've got to move that to the other side. So we subtract 5 from both sides. 130 minus 5 is 125. One twenty-five is five cubed. 
So now they have the same base, so I set their exponents equal to each other. Divide by 2 to solve for x. x is equal to 3 halves. And again, I can check it. Go back to the original problem. 5 to the, put it in parentheses, 2 times 3 halves plus 5 equals one third.